In the late summer of 1862, General Lee invades the North, hoping to deliver a fatal blow to the Union. Lincoln sends General McClellan to stop Lee in his tracks at Sharpsburg, Maryland. Even though McClellan captures Lee's dispatches, exposing his entire battle plan, the overly cautious Northern general still will not act for two days. This gives Lee more and more confidence. The North achieves a temporary advantage at Bloody Lane, where Confederate soldiers are trapped in a sunken road and slaughtered. In the southern section of the battlefield, Burnside attacks the bridge at Antietam Creek. They've crossed the bridge, men. We're gonna stop them before they reach our cannons. Anything that moves is fair game. We said our prayers, so let's go. Eliminate those high-tailing Federals now!
over here, soldier. The sneaky bastards have infiltrated the woods, trying to attack our artillery from the rear. Protect them, soldier, at all costs. Ah! cannot be allowed to cross that bridge, or they'll be out of range of our big guns. is overwhelmed at Antietam Creek and has no more reserves to bring up. It looks like his army will be destroyed when at the last minute General Ambrose Hill arrives with reinforcements and beats back the northern advance. 
The next day, Lee expects an all-out attack and certain destruction, but no attack comes. Once again, McClellan allows the great general to escape. He retreats back into Virginia, able to fight another day. The battle does not give either side a decisive victory, and yet 23,000 casualties occur, nine times the number that fell at Normandy. Tremendously disappointed, Lincoln still declares this a victory, and within days signs the Emancipation Proclamation. England decides against backing the South, an act that will affect the entire outcome of the war.